Well, you guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to optimize the NVIDIA control panel for your gaming settings. So gaming is a really important part and you need to get all the uh, important settings done right inside the NVIDIA control panel. And most people don't even delve into the control panel, but inside there, there's a couple of little settings you can make changes to that will give you better performance when you are playing games. Now, this is just for gaming and performance only. If you want enhancement for video play, then I'll show you another video on that uh, another time. First, you make sure that you've got the latest NVIDIA drivers here. You can go to NVIDIA's website and download the NVIDIA drivers and make sure they're installed. You should then have a control panel which you can right click on the desktop and you should be able to enter the control panel uh, settings here. So let's go ahead and open this up. So I'm just going to quickly right, right click here and open up the uh, control panel. It may take a, a second or two to open up. There we go. Now once we're inside here, what we're going to do is go to the top left hand side here and click on adjust image settings with preview. Select use my preference emphasizing and we're going to put this to performance and then click apply and then go to use the advanced 3D image settings and then click apply again. Once we've done that, we can come out here and go to manage 3D settings and this is where we're going to be uh, changing a lot of these settings under the global settings uh, pane here. So you can see here, there's a bunch of them already set. So I'm just going to leave these as is, but you can delve into these if you wish and change them to your liking. Leave the first three off, the fourth one on, and the fifth one off, which is anti-aliasing mode. And down uh, below here, you'll see a couple that are grayed out. Don't worry about those ones. Now inside the uh, CUDA GPUs, uh, where it says all, we're going to go into here and make sure that we have got the graphics card selected here. Click OK. Under the DSR factors, you can see here that is set to off. Now if you click on this, you will get a bunch of other settings in here, which is for your native resolution times two. You can play around with those settings if you wish. I'm going to leave that off for this video. Inside the maximum pre-rendered frames, I'm going to set this to one. If you're on an older system, uh, maybe three or four years old, you may want to drop this down to three or four or something like that. But uh, for this new system, I'm going to leave this on one. So I'm going to leave the rest of those settings as is and move down to where it says power management mode. And under power management mode, I'm going to make a change here. You can see it's optimal power and I'm going to give this a selection of preferred maximum performance. Going to come down and under the pre refresh rate, going to change this to highest available. And uh, shader cache is on, the textured filtering um, is on, and also textured filtering native allow. We're going to change the other setting, which is your textured filtering quality, to high performance. Leave the uh, textured filtering trinilinear uh, optimization on and this uh, threaded optimization we're going to put this uh, to on now the three settings below are off off and the virtual reality pre-rendered frames i'm going to leave this on one now if you're using an older system maybe four or five years old you may want to try three and four on here as well click apply for the changes to be made and then we can drop down to where it says change resolution just make sure you're on your highest refresh rate here this is a 144 hertz monitor so i'm going to select that and the highest screen resolution is 1920 by 1080 so i'm going to leave that as is here but if you're running a higher resolution you can select that here if you wish but we're going to be using the highest one we've got here, which is 1920 by 1080, 144 hertz. I've got two monitors here, so I'm just making sure they're both set to 144 hertz because they're both equal monitors. And once we've got that done, we can move over uh, to where it says adjust desktop color settings. Now, this is something that some people like to use where it says use NVIDIA uh, settings here. And inside here, you've got brightness, contrast, gamma, and a bunch of other settings which you may want to slightly tweak. I'm going to leave mine as standard, but the digital vibrance 
is something that some players like to boost up a little bit to say 60 to 70, maybe a bit more in some cases. And you'll see the vibrancy on the color in the background on the image, which is changing. And sometimes having a higher uh, digital vibrance sometimes lets you pick out little details uh, when you're playing uh, first person shooters like PUBG and stuff like that. I'm going to leave mine on 50 because I feel that it's just a little bit too oversaturated and I don't like the look of that, but some people uh, do like that. You can also come into adjust video color settings here and you can go with NVIDIA uh, settings here and you can see we've got color. You can change those if you wish. Go to the advanced and I'm going to make this full 0-255. For dynamic range you should get a much better uh, look to your uh, screen now these are simply not for gaming these are for your uh, preferences when you're watching movies and stuff like that so if you want to tweak these a little bit you can do and also you've got your just uh, video image uh, settings as well and this is uh, obviously for your images and stuff like that so if you want to make tweaks there you can do and that's pretty much it. Those uh, settings are generally for gaming settings. Now you can tweak them a little bit more depending on what type of system you've got, but you're not going to see a massive amount of difference by using those settings. They're just really sort of uh, stabilized and marginal settings that you can use to get a better experience when playing games and gives you a little bit of an edge when you use that uh, vibrant setting and stuff like that. I've seen a lot of players uh, boost up the vibrancy so they can see targets a lot more clearer as well in gameplay. But anyway, that's about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope that you enjoyed these videos. If you do, then hit the thumbs up and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.